How often must motor vehicles registered in North Carolina be inspected? A. Biennially. B. Every six months. C. Annually. D. Every five years. Answer. C. Annually. What is the allowable light transmittance for tinted windows in North Carolina? A. 35%. B. 30%. C. 25%. D. Under no circumstances. Answer. A. 35%. What is the minimum fine in North Carolina if convicted for littering from a vehicle? A. One month in jail. B. $200. C. $250. D. There is no such laws. Answer. C. $250. Which surface is particularly hazardous for cyclists? A. Freshly paved tarmac under direct sunlight. B. Gravel paths following a light drizzle. C. Wooden pathways covered with morning dew. D. Steel bridge expansion joints and metal grating. Answer. D. Steel bridge expansion joints and metal grating. What is the maximum legal speed limit for a moped in North Carolina? A. 20 miles per hour. B. 25 miles per hour. C. 30 miles per hour. D. 40 miles per hour. Answer. C. 30 miles per hour. To pass a motorcycle on the road. A. Uh, slow down and proceed with caution. B. You can pass in the same lane. C. For safety, you can drive on the shoulder to pass them. D. You must change lanes and pass like any other vehicle. Answer. D. You must change lanes and pass like any other vehicle. When passing a moped, a driver should stay a. Uh, within the same lane but maintaining a buffer distance b. in the opposing lane if it's a two-way street c. at least three car lengths behind before attempting to overtake d. at least two feet to the left Answer. d. at least two feet to the left Truck drivers' blind spots are referred to as a. safe zones B. In zones. C. Red areas. D. Viewpoints. Answer. B. In zones. Which side of the road should pedestrians always walk on? A. Right side, facing away from traffic. B. Right side, facing traffic. C. Left side, facing away from traffic. D. Left side, facing traffic. Answer. D. Left side, facing traffic. If there's a chance a driver cannot see a pedestrian, what should the pedestrian be prepared to do? A. Continue walking without changing pace. B. Stop and wave at the driver. C. Move out of the way. D. Walk faster. Answer. C. Move out of the way. Which of the following is true about the rear of a bicycle at night? A. Uh, it requires a green light visible for 150 feet. B. It should have a reflector visible for 150 feet. C. It needs a red light or reflector visible for at least 200 feet. D. No lights or reflectors are necessary. Answer. C. It needs a red light or reflector visible for at least 200 feet. What do yellow lines on the road indicate? A. Uh, separate travel lanes moving in the same direction. B. Separate travel lanes moving in opposite directions. C. Indicate the presence of fire hydrants. D. Highlight pedestrian zones. Answer. B. Separate travel lanes moving in opposite directions. What does a continuous, double, solid, yellow line in the center of the road signify? A. Uh, passing with care is permitted in both directions. B. You can cross them to pass when safe. C. You cannot cross them to pass in either direction. D. Indicate right edge of the roadway. Answer. C. You cannot cross them to pass in either direction. 
If a traffic officer is directing the flow of traffic, what should drivers do? A. Obey the normal traffic signals or signs. B. Ignore the officer and continue driving. C. Obey the officer's hand signals instead of the normal traffic signals or signs. D. Only follow the officer's whistle signals. Answer. C. Obey the officer's hand signals instead of the normal traffic signals or signs. The pennant-shaped yellow warning sign. A. Replaces the rectangular do not pass sign. B. Is located on the right side of the road. C. Indicates a parking zone. D. Points to the beginning of the no passing zone. Answer. D. Points to the beginning of the no passing zone. Diamond-shaped signs. I. Indicate school zones. B. Are exclusively used for stop signs. C. Can warn about construction or maintenance areas. D. Are always black on orange. Answer. C. Can warn about construction or maintenance areas. The eight-sided, octagon, sign is. A. A school zone ahead. B. A no passing zone sign. C. A speed limit ahead sign. D. A stop sign. Answer. D. A stop sign. At an intersection without a marked stop line or crosswalk, where should a driver stop? A. After entering the intersection. B. Where they have a clear view of the intersecting street. C. At the nearest pedestrian crossing. D. Only if there is oncoming traffic. Answer. B. Where they have a clear view of the intersecting street. The yield sign is. A. Triangular with the point at the bottom. B. Rectangular. C. Diamond shaped. D. Triangular with the point at the top. Answer. A. Triangular with the point at the bottom. The railroad emergency notification sign is typically depicted within what shape on an illustration? A. Square. B. Triangle. C. Red circle. D. Blue rectangle. Answer. C. Red circle. Rectangular and square shaped signs. A. Are exclusively used for stop signs. B. Are always black on yellow. C. Are only used for construction warnings. D. Can indicate speed limits and other regulations. Answer. C. Can indicate speed limits and other regulations. What shape is the sign that warns of a school zone or school crossing? A. Square. B. Pentagon. C. Triangle. D. Circle. Answer. B. Pentagon. In many school zones, what happens during certain school hours? I. No entry on some roads. B. All vehicles must stop. C. No vehicles are allowed. D. The speed limit is reduced. Answer. D. The speed limit is reduced. Odd-numbered highways generally run in which direction? A. East and West. B. Diagonal. C. North and South. D. Circular. Answer. C. North and South. Which color combination represents interstate highway signs? A. Black and White. B. Red, White, and Blue. C. Green and Yellow. D. Brown and White. Answer. B. Red, white, and blue. If a driver cannot read a sign while driving, what should they do? A. Continue driving and ignore the sign. B. Stop in the middle of the road. C. Move to the shoulder of the road safely. D. Flash their headlights. Answer. C. Move to the shoulder of the road safely. What is the primary purpose of a ramp meter signal? A. To control pedestrian crossings. B. To indicate emergency vehicle presence. 
C. To control traffic entering a freeway from an entrance ramp. D. To indicate a nearby construction zone. Answer. C. To control traffic entering a freeway from an entrance ramp. What should vehicles do when a ramp meter is dark or not emitting any light? A. Stop indefinitely. B. Proceed without stopping and merge as conditions allow. C. Turn on emergency signals. D. Treat same as yield sign. Answer. B. Proceed without stopping and merge as conditions allow. Hybrid beacons are used at A. All freeway entrances and railway crossings. B. Highway toll booths. C. Mid block crosswalks and emergency response facility entrances. D. All of the above. Answer. C. Mid block crosswalks and emergency response facility entrances.